Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll discuss an issue that I struggled with very recently. Considering how often we're expected to give up things out of love for Jesus, has Jesus given us anything? Now, of course, Jesus made promises to us, which, because he's God, he'll keep, that the faithful will obtain heavenly glory, but God's generosity should be first, before our own, because of his moral supremacy. In this is charity, not as though we had loved God, but because he hath first loved us, and sent his Son to be a propitiation for our sins. 1 John 4.10 now, according to St. John, Jesus, the Son, the second person of the Trinity, was the one who created the universe. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by him, and without him was made nothing that was made. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. John 1, 1, 3, and 14a. So, in a certain sense, this could be seen as a major gift. But this happened before Jesus was made flesh. What about when he was on earth? Did Jesus give us anything then? The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and what precisely it accomplishes is a topic I've covered before this in episode 370 on the redemption. Check the video description for the numbered episode list. And ultimately, that study concluded that Jesus' sacrifice doesn't necessarily save us from sinning from temptation, from moral consequences, from pain, from death, or from hell. Yes, it gives us a chance to get back into good standing with God, but a chance is not a thing in the strictest sense. To interpret this as a gift, we would need to suppose that Jesus placed something into the human soul, which we didn't previously have, and which is responsible for our chance for salvation. Is there any indication of this kind of gift? Well, when he had said this, he breathed on them, and he said to them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. John twenty twenty two. This is the gift that Jesus centrally offers to us through baptism and sanctifying grace, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Thomistic theological tradition holds that the Holy Spirit is, in fact, the ultimate gift. I answer that gift taken personally in God is the proper name of the Holy Ghost. Summa Theologica, Part 1, Question 38, Article 2. So, Jesus gave not only his own life to gain for us a chance at salvation, but also gave us the Holy Spirit to help us along that road. The Holy Spirit is the ultimate gift, and we didn't have him within us before Jesus gave him to us. Next, what ultimately is the fulfillment of all desire? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.